Hey guys, John Luxley here. So this time we're playing Narcosis, uh, something that originally I'd looked at very, very briefly, but uh, not kind of, kind of glanced past. And then, um, and then the underwater hamster guy mentioned that you know this is one of the games that he likes, and so I'm like, you know what? Let me give it another, another look. Uh, so this is going to be a blind playthrough, and uh, that's. Basically, it. I'm not too familiar with it. I know it is a underwater horror game, and underwater games in general kind of freak me out, to be quite honest. So let's hope it's not too scary. It looks very similar to Soma, which I also haven't played, uh, but we'll see how this goes. By the way, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. Okay. You should be able to hear my keyboard clicking as I uh, as I press the buttons and stuff. Little information bar here. Do not exceed the 12 meter shot line limit. I don't know what that means. Review tool inspection logs prior to extravehicular activity, EVA. So this looks to be some sort of... Um, you know, status like a desktop screen. Uh, date 2019, February 2nd. Latitude and longitude. External PSI. Oh, hang on. Exercise caution during ADS operation near thermal vents and mineral structures. Um, reckless endangerment of flora and fauna violates established international protocol. I think I remember something along the lines of... Um, you're sent in to find out what happened to the underwater station or, or something like that. Conduct systems check prior to extravehicular activity. Like, I think we're coming upon the events after they've taken place. External PSI 5102.35. Do not overload pump jets. Uh, to put it in perspective, the PSI of the atmosphere at you know, sea level or close to sea level is one. And that's pounds per square inch. Review all environmental protocol changes regarding extravehicular activity regularly. Depth, we're 3,417 meters down. Yeah, I mean, external temp, two degrees Celsius. Maintain 10 meters sight line with the nearest ADS operator, or about 35.79 degrees Fahrenheit. So basically refrigerator temperature. Calendar reminder, birthday, Benjamina I, February 17th, 15 days. Is that, I don't think that's us. It seems like it slows down here in the middle and then speeds up as it goes to either side. Uh, we have 72% oxygen, eight flares and 12% battery left. So presumably this is a, um, I don't know, uh, like a tablet or something. We have commence, which is kind of glowing. Event log, personnel, settings, power down. I guess we'll check settings. Monitor O2 meters at all times. That seems smart. Yes, we want subtitles. Uh, deletes all save data. No, thank you. Graphics. Oh, uh, yes. Render quality. Let's go to high. Is it too late to apply it? You know, I never remember what anti-aliasing does. You know, this is nice. It didn't require us to restart. Gameplay mouse sensitivity. That seems fine. Reticule. I don't... I don't know what this is. Probably something that's like in the middle of the screen or something. Camera shake, ah, uh, not so much. Head bob, okay. Gaze navigation, audio, music and sound effects, all this stuff, output headphones. Ooh, binaural sound. I'm gonna apply this. I don't know if this will work for you guys as well. I'm hoping it does. Controls, keyboard and mouse, or backward, left, right, interact. 
Use knife, left mouse, launch flare, right mouse. Thrust is space. So I guess that's jump. Reset view is R. VR settings, we are not using VR, but if you want to, you can. So there you go. Okay, personnel. I think when I did my test recording the first time, this was the first screen that popped up. Wait, so how do I... Let me hit escape. Oh, maybe not. Okay, event log, once in a lifetime. Load event log. Um, I guess. I don't know if I was supposed to have done this or not. But we'll find out. Oceanova was once in a lifetime. They're breaking new ground, making something meaningful. Mining methane hydrate frozen beneath the seabed. There's alternatives, but none so plentiful. It's clean and safe. I couldn't say no. Sorry about your weekend, but someone had to draw the short straw. We've got a lot of updates to get through, but new suit, same rules. I can look around. Okay, instruments. O2. Flares and thrust. Oh, Jesus. Here, you know the drill. You're stressed, panicking, breathing hard. Okay, what does that do? Sensors down. <clears throat> As you know, your O2 burns down a lot faster under stress. Anyway, let's move. So this is the tutorial, I suppose. So we have oxygen and intake meters on the left, thrust and flares on the right. We have no flares. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Oh, this I don't like. Oh, jeez. Locate. Oh, our felon. Okay, so that's our little mission task, I guess. We just sort of locate our felon. We have six flares now. It's like, oh, hey, you can move. Now this, uh, your memory is over. Now you're trapped in this hellhole. Down to 75% oxygen. I wonder if that'll... I assume that'll go down over time. Oh, oh, this is weird. Okay, so... The A and D keys turn the helmet, and then I look around independently with the mouse. It's a little awkward. But I think I'm in a... What are the... Hang on. Okay, I don't want to use a flare. I know that's the right mouse button, but the left mouse button does nothing at the moment. So this is going to be a bit awkward. Also, it's not like strafe, which is what I think most gamers are used to. It's turn. So, yeah. Oh, we're down to 68% oxygen. That's not great. And some kind of fish. Evil fish. All right. Things look bad, like this pipe is all bent and messed up. We're down to 66%. Okay, not much time left. How do I... Okay, I feel like I... Like there's something glowing right there, right? And coolant. That's a coolant tank that I guess ruptured. Space? Okay, space doesn't work. It's supposed to have thrust, but, uh, okay, I guess we're gonna ignore that for now. Oh, jeez. This is down to 60%. So if I were to play this in VR... I would not play this in VR. Let's put it that way. Oh, what is that? Okay, that's some kind of... I assume that was... Uh, oh! Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. It's only when you hold or uh, press it. And you can only press it every... three seconds, about. 
So it's not... It's more of a defensive weapon, I assume, and we're down to 52% oxygen. That's not good. Now, the good thing is that you will, as you're walking... Yep, there you go, 50% O2. As you're walking forward, you will turn... If you're looking, like, to the left, you'll turn without actually having to turn. But it... Ooh, that's not a good sign. Was there a cave-in? Did we get trapped? I don't know. Also, what was... Man, that... That was like an octopus thing or something, right? Well, it's a little bit claustrophobic feeling, I will tell you this. Are we about to have another, uh... Transport to another place or something? Okay, I can't... Still no thrust jets. Space doesn't work. I guess we're just gonna fall. Oof. Okay. Something's still not... Hold on a sec. Um, I need you to hit thrusters one more time. Oh, jeez. Whenever you're ready. Hold W and space to thrust forward. Climb the steps. Okay, so space by itself does nothing. That's a little weird. Okay, so it does... It's like a little... It's like a... It's like a dash, almost. Not quite a... It does give you a little bit of verticality, but... Not very much. So it's a forward... Let's try it in reverse. So it's a forward thrust and a... Target practice. Okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Release. Uh, hold it to load and release to launch. Oh, neat. Oh, cool. We get a little targeting thing. Okay. All right. I can't shoot it out of the tank, though. Or out of the pool. Oh, I see. It wants me to get him in the... Okay. It's kind of cool that the... Like your arm moves as you move, or it kind of wiggles. You know, like it's not, it doesn't stay, you know, right on target. Nav sys, check. Thruster, check. <clears throat> Launcher, and check. Let's get out of here. Grab a little sunshine while we can. I'm back in hell. Yep. Okay, is it gonna... It's loading, I guess. Alright, so... Is this where it wants me to go, or do I go down there, or what? Okay, so you can... thrust multiple times. But it has to... Oh, Weird fishes. Alright, well, I guess I'm... Maybe, maybe supposed to go over there? I don't know. Probably follow that if we're gonna do any of this. I wonder if thrusting would be... I mean, obviously it would be faster, right? That was a red light of some kind. Thirty-two percent. So this is the event log. So I don't know if this is my character. Are we... 
changing up again or are we blacking out like what's going on or maybe that's like the loading screen or something something's blinking Welcome back, oh hey Okay, aren't I supposed to still find... Or maybe this is that person. It looks weird, though. You know? Like, it feels... Retrieve O2. Nice! Yep, shove it straight into your belly. So that only gave us about 25%. That's good to know. But no, it looks like... Come on, let's get back to the hab, which is... Where? Behind him? Past him? Robots all riled up. Don't want to miss that. I'll circle back with JJ tomorrow. Get this all wrapped up. No, but this reminds me of those old... Um, like, quick time... Games, where it's like all... Uh... FMV images until you move and then it actually moves you through the screen. That's why... Okay, so I took my hand off the keyboard. We're kind of walking on our own now. Let's us get a good view of the thrusters. Ten o two, February 2nd. We were... 50 miles from the epicenter. But an 8 on the Richter scale makes that kind of distance irrelevant. So there was a mining accident, I guess. Or, uh, they were mining this material or this mineral or something, and then, uh... Hold up. Something's off. I can't look... Uh, no, not yet. I can't... I can't move or anything. The shockwaves hit six minutes later, striking the south face of the hab first and hardest. 27 minutes in, with that kind of concussive force, even the sealed modules were compromised. After that came the ocean. By 1033, only safe havens in a sub or one of the suits. Wow. Progress saved. Wait, hang on. So was this... Uh... Okay. Okay, so that is the event log. Event log is the... The thing. Oh, that's not what I want to do. So it's, it's like his wristwatch or something. I see. All right, so the only thing we haven't, like, commenced, I guess, would be event log, same thing. I thought it was gonna play, like, some kind of pre-recorded thing for us. So let's check out the personnel. Oceanova, so this is the company that's mining the stuff. I assume these are the actual developers. That's usually how it goes. And we're supposed to look for something failing or whatever this one so that was the other dude in the suit presumably Tyson Lyle no data okay oh let's look at their uh, positions I suppose position engineer position senior diver and their ID. So MDS-6. This guy is EVA-02. I don't know what that means. But I assume these are all the people down at the, the HAB underwater. Uh, Castillo Dive Master. Okay. EVA-01. Castillo Junior Diver. Hang on. Father and Son? All right. 91. Jeez. Benyamina. Mmm. That wasn't me, right? J 
junior diver. I don't know. Joaquin Halima. Rig manager. Phelan Russell, senior driller. Uh, Al Yassin, position Derek hand. Uh, the Derek is the thing that actually pumps whatever, right? Like an oil Derek. Motor hand. Okay, so all these people are working on, like you have the divers and then uh, the drillers, I guess. Right. Stella floor hand. Uh, engineer. Vander Row. Oh, robot. Okay, got it. Head researcher. What are you researching, though? Uh, doll rider supervisor. Was this the guy that was talking to us? So this might be who we are, Benyamina. And this was the dude talking to us in the pool, I think. And this was the guy we met walking around. Uh, manager from Chile. I don't even know how you pronounce that. I don't even know. Maintenance. Research lead from South Korea. Any doctors? Like medical doctors? Researcher. Another researcher. Ah, there you go. Medical. Okay. You, you would expect to have at least one. And maybe a cook. Ah, supply kitchen. Okay. Right, so you have your maintenance. Uh, whoever. Some researchers. Which is weird. Why do you have researchers? But anyway. Down to 31 oxygen. So let's find some more. By the way, who was, um... I guess we go forward. I, I hate that we can't look down. Who is narrating? I don't think we go up there. Probably just follow the path. But so anyway, all of them are missing data. Oh. Oh, jeez. Can we help? Come on. Grab him. Wait. Okay. That was a... Uh... Oh. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Seven percent oxygen. Is it because I'm hallucinating? Well, that's no good. Okay, so they... Oh. Oh, jeez. Let's not go that way. Um, you know what? Let's go that way. Let's find out what happens when we die. Because they were glitching out and stuff. Can I... Oh. Retrieve O2 and ID. Okay. It said database updated or review file. So that was him. Still no data, though. One picture. It happened so fast. Russ was here and now he's gone. It should have been me. I'm usually on point. If I'd followed protocol or if he hadn't been so damn anxious to get back. Okay, okay. Dial it down. You're pulling too hard on the tank. Just look away. Can't help him anyway. Russ was here. So am I... Russ? No, that's Russ. Oh, so this is what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm usually on point. Just look away. Can't help him. Sorry, Mon Frere. I gotta get back to Compass. I find out what happened. Someone help me bring you back home. JB, Isra, and the others. I hope they're okay. Okay, so that's Russ. Compass. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's grayed out because he's dead. Uh, I think this whole thing is going to be grayed out. I mean, let's be honest, right? Oh, I don't like those sounds. And that sucks. He got stuck on the tank and got frozen there. Uh... Right. Okay. But it's it's weird though, right? Cuz this should be us. 
if, I mean, you know, if we know who we are. ICO CO2 contamination broadcast SOS and coordinates, coordinates before return to lockout. This battery thing is interesting as well. And the flares. What's the point of the flares? Okay, let's get away from that. We don't like death. Death is bad. But we're going to have to get close to the bodies, I guess, to recover their stuff. So, now what? Well, we could try coming up here. Or not. Oh, maybe there. Or not. Okay, so maybe we're screwed. Uh, yeah, alright. So you have to go... You have to thrust forward. Ah, uh, get up there, maybe. That's kind of the problem, is I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe back. I don't know. Right? I mean, I'm gonna get near this person again and we're gonna freak out again. Just don't look at him. Maybe this is the right way. Okay. We'll just have to keep an eye out for any oxygen tanks or anything. This, okay, this feels like the right way. Man, I bet every little action depletes. Oh, okay, this could be good. Return to compass. Compass I, or compass one. Probably compass one. Yeah, I know. I understand. I don't like it, though. Also, that seems... Oh, there's a shark. Or, nope. My eyes are playing tricks on me. It's just a fish. And... Is that a cuttlefish? Okay, so what is this stuff? More flares, I think. Restore O2. Yes, please. Okay, we're maxed out. What about flares? Ten. Okay. So this is good. This is good. This looks like, I don't know, medical supplies. Tools status. I wonder if the flare is going to be the only tool. Also, I just do want to point out that when I went back to before I got the ID from the dude, he kind of like glitched out. I assume that's deliberate. Whoa, dude, I'm already down to 97? Wow, we go fast. We lose, lose O2 fast. Very fast. So the whole pipeline's been destroyed. Um, let's go up here. There we go. Uh, I doubt we go along this way, but I'm going to try. Oh, another fish. Nope. Ooh, what is that? What was that noise? I hear something, but I can't look down. It's like, hmm, I don't like it. Very skitterish. I guess, uh, you know, the... You know, man, I'm still not used to the turning stuff. Oh, that looks... What is this? Aqua? Like, that's some kind of, a, uh, Like, sub or something. Let's try shooting a flare. I want to see... Of 
question is how long do they last, right? We'll go back here, we'll top off on the oxygen and flares. Okay, and it takes a second before control is restored, so let's... Man, that does... It does kind of look like a, a shark. A little bit. I assume we don't go there. Methane. Okay. I also feel... Oh, is that a spider crab? Well, I got my knife ready. How am I down to 93 already? Okay. No, I don't like you. I don't like you. Okay, well, we're gonna keep going. We don't have much time. It's, it's kind of like... Hey, you can't pause and let the tension build up. It's it's very much driven. Elevated O2 intake, why? Check your gear, trust your training. It's one of the first things you learn. But the second they fail, you fall back on what you know best. For me, it's the list. This time, it wrote itself. Keep breathing, find others, and get the hell out. Yep, elevated oxygen. Can't do much about that. Man, this is a ways. I guess you're... Like, what would you do if you were actually out here? You know, because you could die so easily. Like, one wrong step. And just that's it, you know? Also, those spider crabs are... A little bit menacing. I mean, they're not supposed to be, but they are. And then another little couple crabs. Now, I don't seem to have life or anything, but it seems like oxygen is, is what does it, right? So the more danger you're in, potentially, the more, uh, more you use your oxygen. Also, I mean, what do we... Well, okay, that's a... Oh, and a big one. Well, how about you get away from me? Or I'll cut you. Oh, Jesus! Oh! 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 Okay. So, what? I guess maybe a flare? I didn't... I thought it would just, like, get out of the way or leave us alone or something. I didn't think we could actually die in this, to be honest. Or not, um, not like that. Let's try Flare, then. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't... Okay, so what now? You just get out of the way of it, I guess? Maybe? Or is it coming for me? Well, now I know. We'll just scoot by. Now I know. You can, uh, be damaged. 
50%, man. Also, the it reacted to the flare, but it didn't do... It didn't seem to do much. Okay, so it looks like we have two paths. Oh, or not. Or we're just falling. Or we're just falling. Okay, we're just going. There you go, you're past that part. Is this, uh... Check inbox regularly for policy changes. Progress saved. Well, that's good. That makes sense. Step by step, so we're on... The next little piece. We're still trying to get to Compass 1. Which is probably the Hab. But yeah, seriously, you'd think there'd be... Um... Like, lights or some kind of... Some guide to get back there, because if you get... Lost out here, that's it. You're done. Alright, all the... Supplies are toasted, I guess. Kind of just drifting down now. Okay, flare crates. Is that a coffee cup? I don't know. And uh, I'm hoping there's oxygen somewhere. Let's see if we can grab. <sighs> okay, flares are maxed. That's good. And that's probably an oxygen refill. Thing of a bob. Max O2. Let's move on then. Okay. Do I go down there? Somehow I doubt it. Just a thought. I mean, I did figure out this would be a walking simulator, but I didn't... I guess I didn't really know much else. I mean, if you can... We probably have to go across that, I would imagine, like, thrust-wise. Like, what happens if we fall? Do I want to just fall right here and, and find out? Let's do that. Okay, yep, that's... Yep, oh, yep, that's no good. Allow thrusters to cool down completely before attempting a leap of faith. Okay, so now at least I know. At least now I know you fall off the edge and you're just toast. Max O2. Well, that's handy. But now I don't. Now I'm down two. Three percent. Three percent already. That's kind of BS. Look at that. Ninety-six percent. Woo! All right, yeah, we'll uh, we'll allow the thrusters to cool down. Okay, we made that jump successfully. When it's all bearing down on so many levels, it's got to be managed. You can't shake the pressure. Just make your peace with it. Don't let it take the wheel. Right. You know, fear is the mind killer. Uh, well, I guess we'll go this way. I don't know if left was a valid way to go. I mean, it looks like a path. Now, the other thing is, is strangely enough, this is not quite as intense for me as, say, Subnautica. Maybe it's because I feel like I have less, less, uh, less agency. Oh, jeez. Do we have to do this? 
like we have to get to the pillar in the middle and then man can I just save here um no looks like it just saves between little events so let's okay but I can oh that's probably bad Whoa, okay. So we did that. That was good. That was a good jump. What is that? Rocks or giant crab thing? Probably rocks. There's the methane pipe. Um, I guess we just go along the pipe. I don't know. I don't like how my... Like, I can't see. Oh, okay. So what now? Do I... Go across, I guess? Oh, it's so dark. Oh, crap. Nope, we're going. Nope, we're going. We're going. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Well, that's not good. That's... Uh, don't... Okay, we'll stay in the... We'll stay in the pipe. That's fine. They are right. Okay. Well, that looks blocked off, so we'll go this way, I think. Why is it so smoky? So it does feel less intense than Subnautica just because I feel like I'm more on rails. But it has its own intensity. Just different. Okay, so we have... Oh, yeah. Oxygen. It's not a full thing this time, either. And that's what? Flares? Okay. Gotta keep moving, then. Whoa, whoa, what was that? That was some weird squid thing. I remember seeing that on one of the... Let's not go the way that it went. Because we have a choice. There's protocol for everything to be. Second guessing puts lives at risk. So it's best to stick to procedure, step by step. So with an all hands call, you head straight for Compass One. Try and reach surface from comms. That makes sense. So there was an emergency. Oh, footsteps. Right on. All hands call, so go back to base. Everyone. Yeah, it's like an emergency. You know. And someone put a flare. Jellyfish. Oh no. That's a person. And worse, their face is exposed. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This is not good. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, we knew that I'm not Benyamina anymore. First rest now, Isra. I found her at the perimeter of Compass 1 too close for comfort. Like me, she was lucky. Out on EVA when the tremor started. Probably headed back in search of others, or at least a little calm in the storm. Her visor was shattered, but her face, bathed in blue light, was quiet, if not quite at peace. Another sleeper in the veil. A painful, a plain painful reminder of how little separates us from the elements. Something tells me this is all worse than I thought. Yeah, her face looks not bloated, but thankfully, you know. 
Uh, ICO adverse habitat conditions, access adjoining module and seal hatch. So this, in a weird way, actually feels better than the... Hang on, let me pause for a second. The new Subnautica, below zero. This already feels better than that. Like, this is a real tragedy. You know, we feel at risk. Subnautica below zero, it's like, oh, hey, do you want us to send you a shuttle? Like, you're immediately in contact with, uh, you know, your your operations or whatever. And they're like, oh, we could send a shuttle down. And you're like, nah, I got this. Just send me a little, you know, one of those little temporary shelters. Send me my tent, and I'll just camp out here in the backyard. Like, this feels legit. This feels way better, you know? Also, we're at 45% battery, as opposed to, what were we, 46? 49, maybe? Okay, there's that octopus thing. Do we need a flare? Yes! Tap, tap left. Oh, get off, get off. Whoa, okay. Ah, get away! Yeah, no shit elevated. We still have to follow it, though. That's where we gotta go. What was that? Is that us breathing? We made it bleed, though. So it's like a squid. It's basically a squid. Ooh. And there was a big, well, to be honest, looked more like a squid than or an octopus because it had a flat or a bulbous head as opposed to a flat head. Okay, compass one. So I think we can presume that Isra or Benyamina or whatever, uh, she was probably killed by that octopus thing, like her faceplate was shattered. That's what they said. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make the assumption, and there's more methane tanks, so good explosive risk. Anything over here? Nope. Landslide. Okay, that makes sense, because I figured we're going in there anyway. Let's top off, because I figure that's probably, you know, I mean, never, you know, always top off. Maxo too, but it's got to be full of water anyway. It wouldn't be the same if it wasn't. You know, this is not about safety. We'll talk about the different types of horror, I think, probably in the next episode. We're just about done with this one, I believe. For today. Progress saved. What was that? Okay, well, this is a good place to stop. Um, wow, and they're not letting you, like, there's no... It's not really a title menu. Everything about the menu and the, the interface is, like, immersive. It's within the environment itself. Oh, and her portrait fades out now. That makes sense. That's kind of cool. It starts this and then it gray. It's not just like, oh, it's it's gray now. It's like, oh, it fades. That's a nice little touch. Monitor O2 meters at all times. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Narcosis looks interesting. Um, it's not... Maybe it's more suspense than horror. I guess we'll see. Um... Yeah, I'd like to talk more about that, and I think we will. Um, so, hang on, let me drink some coffee real fast. Mm. Said something about be aware of faceplate damage immediately. Yeah, that's how you die. So, um, 
yeah, every if you're new to this uh, this channel, what I like to do at the end of every episode is uh, a unique positive moment. The whole point of doing your daily unique positive moment is to increase your uh, kind of like train your brain to recognize more more positive things. Everything we see is so negative, like news and just everything kind of gears us to have a negative mindset. Um, and I think if we, you know, it won't necessarily improve the world, but it'll let us appreciate the little things just a little bit more. And I think based on that, we can improve our own happiness. So it kind of trains your brain to, you know, take take pleasure and, and be more, more happy. Um, so what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's, this is going to sound really weird, but they all, it's not like huge, great things like, oh, I won the lottery. It's like the little things. And they have to be, the goal is to have them unique, right? So every day, uh, like what I did yesterday is supposed to be different than the one that I use today. And that's what challenges us to search for stuff. You know, search for stuff to be happy about, basically. Uh, so earlier today, I got um, one of the little Steam booster packs. So that was kind of nice. It was just like a little random event you know i saw it's like oh you have a new thing in your inventory and i'm like oh great another coupon that i'm never going to use but but no this was a uh, little trading card thing so i'm like ah cool that's neat so that's my unique positive moment for today hopefully your guys is just as good if not better hopefully better of course and i hope to see you guys next time until then guys take care <laughs>